down the hatch with the lemon jello. Yeah. Uh, which is one recipe. See, recipe is very easy. One liter of a Ooh. pure vegan alcohol. One liter of water. Wow. Six hundred grams of sugar. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Italy part two. And things have gotten pretty crazy. But before we get too far into it, my name is Jordan Beck. And I'm Lee Trebek. And this is Around the World of Beck. And we have a goal of hitting 50 countries and 50 US states. And we are still in country number 23. Italy. Italy. But uh, yeah, we, we need to break down what's happened so far in the Amalfi Coast. In the last video we put out, we were traveling with the Becks, which includes my dad, Tim, my mom, Tamara, my sister, Haley, and then of course, myself and Elytra. And in good fashion, and it seems to happen a lot, things go wrong. So we left Venice uh, yesterday, about 11 o'clock. Our train departed at 11.05, and it was supposed to be about five and a half hours on the bullet train. Everything was fine riding, you know, the premier class until we hit about Rome where we had a two and a half hour delay. It was a long delay, um, but eventually we made it to the station and we luckily were able to coordinate things with our driver to pick us up um, and patiently wait for us to then drive us an hour to our hotel on the Amalfi Coast. But that's not where the trouble stopped. Jordan's family always claim that traveling with them is like traveling with the Griswolds and so far it has lived up to that name. This morning we had a 1030 tour booked to go and do a limoncello farm and some other stuff this morning. However, the tour guide arrived at about 9.15 to take us to a mozzarella and limoncello tour. It was a lot of confusion and uh, I don't even know if we figured it out, but we are here on a limoncello and mozzarella tour right now. Um, we are gonna go start upstairs with the mozzarella and dive into what I'm hoping is a little bit of tasting and then hopefully we will get to come down and smell some lemons. From the elastic dough, it will make for you a different shape. And let's start from a mozzarella that you know very well, which comes from the Italian verb mozzare. Mozzare is the way to cut the cheese by hand. Mozzare was the verb to, to, to cut by hand pouring immediately into the cold water to keep the process. Then it's gonna make for you the long braid, long plait, um, always from the piece of cheese, is going to make a little bit longer, and the twist, look, eh, because it's gonna be very fast, because the cheese comes from very warm, so it must be very fast. You see how beautiful? Oh, Mm, one or two people want to try? <laughs> you can you can braid that you can braid okay. like here my cheese for you for the first time. Look, three pieces you, you can braid. Your hand. You want me to try? Look, see. You take take your cheese on your hands. Okay. Stay here on the table, my cheese, very good. Left going over the middle one, very good. Take this one. All the way over. Very good. In the middle. In the middle. Very good. Take the other one in the middle. Very good. Good, very good. Professional. When you reach the hand, the pull all three together, keep it longer for a few seconds, make a long, long pressure, pitching for a few. There we are. For, you can be very proud of you. You can be very proud of you. Yeah. After a little demonstration, we got a whole spread going on right now. We got bruschetta, mozzarella. We're not sure, maybe ricotta or cottage cheese or something. No. <laughs> we got some bread, we got some olive grilled oil. zucchini, olive oil. Now we get to dive in because we're hungry after the morning we've had. <laughs> super I, brave. I actually love lemons. Super, super brave. They're so brave. I'm super brave. Thank you. Yeah, just some bit. You like it? Yeah. Uh, not for me. A little too no? sour. It's good. Thank you. Would you like to try 
I'm trying not to make like the sour lemon face. Yeah, like that. That's how I look. <laughs> Good lemon. She was saying that this is an artichoke. Look how big this is. We're just walking around and they've got so many animals. So they've got a whole thing of bunnies right here. And they've got chickens and roosters and baby chicks back there. The black and white ones? See, si. oh brown and oh, brown. Oh, <laughs> the dog is terrible long. It's incredible. Look at you. Ah! Sweet. Oh, look at his nose. Oh, don't get my fingers. Oh, don't get my fingers. What's that, Buttercup? Good job. Yeah, I know. They're like, nobody feeds us down here. You hungry? And the white was a Falangina. Uh, those are typical wine of Sorrento, of Sorrento, of Campania region. Uh, so you can find the typical of, of uh, our area. We can have here all the eggplant, the season of eggplant, wow. look at your report, yeah. Uh, all the lines here are eggplant. All the, um, over here is the cherry tomatoes. And the long, oh, um, over there you can find the tomatoes for caprese salad. We can have a peaches a tree. Probably it's a little bit strong. Try. Uh, yeah, it's okay. a little bit. Um, it's rough. Uh, uh, yeah. Not ready yet. Not ripe yet. Mm. So so. Good. Good. I like it. It's, a it's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Besides that lemon. Wow, you guys have so many things. Oh wow. See, and uh, it's uh, an organic farm, guys. So we everything that we produce and we grew, we grow up, we can use it for our oh, so for good. our restaurant, for our events, for some... oh, for, oh, for um. But uh, you see, this tree only this one because uh, mm, it's just more for um, if you cut this one, it's empty inside. There is anything. It's not beautiful, like uh, or no full of fruit or, or juice that you tasted uh, upstairs. Uh, it's uh, just uh, you know decoration for picture. But uh, this this tree is a different plant that we call Nazone lemon. And I thought this was gonna be a good lemon, but it's definitely the size of my head. So that's something. The lemon zest go into the alcohol. As you can see here, if you want to smell, it's a pure grain alcohol. No vodka, no rat. It's a 94% of alcohol. Then we buy very strong. Uh, so we put the zest inside and we can live for, for five, one week, about one week. If you are using Sorrento lemon, down the hatch. Down the hatch. Down the hatch with the lemon jello. See, recipe is very easy. One liter of a Ooh. pure bean alcohol. One liter of water. Six hundred grams of sugar. We just finished our tour of this very small Italian farm that seems to have a majority of lemon trees growing, but they also have like peaches and olives and zucchini and grapes and just all of it is really cool. It's all very fresh. We got to try some of the peaches and the lemons are huge and just they're saying they're certified Sorrento lemon, which is really cool. And behind us here is a very old 1910 olive oil maker. You put the olives in and use a centrifuge and it would separate the oil from, I guess, the part of the plant and then reuse the plant for compost and then you're left with olive oil. 
took a while, but here it is. Pretty cool. Now it's trying to figure out what else we want to do. Um, tour is kind of messed up in their plans and we traveled so much yesterday that I don't know if we going to continue to drive in the car. So we end up maybe going back to the hotel. Um, we'll update you as we go and what we know, because again, not really planning the trip, but we're along for the ride, so. Think about going back, go swimming for a little bit. During the hot time of the day, this is the siesta. Swim, see the place, get cleaned up, hit the town tonight, like get it. a nice dinner. It's a little bit cooler. And just like that, we're back here in Positano. The family just decided, let's forget the rest of the tour with the confusion and everything. So we went back to our hotel and decided today is the day to go to the beach. Not just any beach, because this hotel has its private own little beach front here where it's all like quarter off and you can just go. Uh, a little bit rocky, but not too bad. It's super, super clear. So I'm very excited to go inside. Uh, but there is a little sign here that says, uh, beware of the jellyfish. So gonna try and be careful there. But overall, we're gonna be spending the next couple of hours here, enjoying the views, enjoying the sea and drinking plenty of drinks. So we'll uh, catch up with you from time to time. So down here, we've got our own private little terrace that we're able to hang out with. So we've all got our own individual chairs. I was relaxing in the shade until they came by and closed it. So I don't know how much longer I'll be able to last before I completely fry to death, but we've definitely had an interesting time. They've got buttons here that you can press to call the waiter and they can bring you drinks, uh, little snackies down here, or you can go up there and grab lunch, which is what we ended up doing. And then most of the fam decided to go out and take a jump into the ocean until they got chased out by a jellyfish. So, you know, beach props. But I think we're gonna hang out here for a little while until it's time to get ready and go out to dinner where we've got reservations at a place that they said does not have a good view but has amazing food. And uh, yeah, we're, we're okay with that compromise. And hopefully we'll get to see the town a little bit too. Everybody has now dressed up for dinner. We climbed a little mountain here and we're waiting for the public transportation offered from the hotel to go to Positano Town Center. Before we disembark, there's a tiny little stand over there that sells a variety of different things. But one thing that caught our eye was this like lemon ice. Oh boy, it's super good. Mm. So now we're gonna head into the town center and grab dinner. Our shuttle dropped us off just up the hill and now we are kind of making our way towards dinner. We've got a little over an hour or so to kill. So we're just popping into these shops as we go. It seems like a lot of linen, a lot of like beautiful glasswork and different types of souvenirs. Hopefully Jordan and I can find our ornament before we end up leaving town. Carry on size, spray oil and vinegar. That's definitely a Beck thing, just your handy dandy. Spray olive oil, ready to go for any bread you might find. So Jordan and I get an ornament everywhere we go because this is a three part video, three big cities. We're gonna need three ornaments. So this is ornament number two. It is so cute. Okay, salute. Chin chin. For your dinner. Oh God. That's a hell of a shot. So we packed into the Catalina wine mixer, or um, just a regular wine bar. I don't necessarily know what they have, but hopefully some white. They have what? They have Riesling. So how do I do this? You stay in the car and then you like push this wheel. 
And the wine continued to float at 9.45 when we made our reservation at Restaurant Max, where we had a very private table tucked away in the back. We all had really, really good food. I had the like lobster pasta, and Elytra had the seafood risotto. And then we ended up just closing out the night with dessert, and I am blown away by the presentation of Elytra's lemon cake. Wish I had ordered that. But for now though, it's gonna be wrapping up the night, waiting for a taxi right behind us here to take us back to our hotel. We missed the free shuttle, but that's all right. So tomorrow the plan is to do absolutely nothing and enjoy Positano. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We're in our last full day here in Positano. Today though, we're gonna be going up to the hotel taking this very unique i don't know elevator escalator it's called a funacular where uh, you call it and it just kind of climbs vertically up the side of the mountain here um a little spooky sometimes but we keep calling it different names like uh funacular funifler just all sorts of random different things um so here it comes now and we're going to be catching a uh, cab to go to the amalfi coast And then sometimes it just completely misses you and goes the other direction and then you gotta wait for it to come back up the mountain. So it's like a 10, 15 minute wait sometimes. While waiting for the flip flopular to arrive, we're enjoying the views, which today, a bit more cloudy than the last few days, which puts a bit of a damper on our plans to sit under the sun and enjoy the weather. But uh, we're gonna head into town, make the most of it, and hopefully it clears up a little bit by this afternoon. In our many methods of transportation to get to Amalfi, we've already done step one, the fruit saccular, step two, a shuttle, step three, walking. Now we're trying to go step four, which is a ferry taxi, which will take us over to Amalfi, where I think we're gonna have more walking and lots of shops. Well, I'd like to argue that this town is not as busy as Positano, but uh, as you can see, everybody's crowded here on the street with cars going left and right. I think there's just more space on the street, but I think it's equally as busy. So yeah, we made it to the town of Amalfi, where we immediately stopped and got some lemon ice. It's really good, but very tart. Oh wow, that's tart. I wonder if it has anything to do with the Amalfi lemon farm just up the hill. For now, we're gonna walk around do some shopping, maybe get some lunch, and we'll see what Amalfi has to offer. Our little Amalfi excursion was actually a lot of fun. So we just got to pop into a bunch of different shops. They found some dishes. Haley and I found some hats, which I'm just gonna pop right on top of my bun there. Look real cute, but protect my shoulders a bit from the sun. And uh, we got some pizza, we got some lemon ice, and just had a good time walking around and finding some different things to do. But now we are going to board the ship back to Positano, where we are going to spend the rest of the afternoon, probably me in the shade, everybody else in the sun and in the ocean, and then dinner later tonight. The time right now is about five o'clock. So the sun is starting to go behind the mountains here. And I think it's a perfect time to go to the pool right now, especially since the ferry was really hot. Yeah, I get to try out my new hat. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be nice to relax in some water and just swim for a little bit before dinner tonight at about 10 o'clock. But uh, yeah, the pool will be nice and cool. It's our last night in Positano, so we're going to be headed out to dinner. And it's kind of standard around here to eat dinner really late, but we're <laughs> eating dinner at 10, so that's maybe a little too late. But whatever, They're, the restaurant themselves are coming to come and pick us up 
take us to the restaurant, we'll do dinner, and then bring us back. Now we're just getting everyone to take the fun tabular up to the top, and uh, we'll be waiting for our ride here in a little bit. Dinner was absolutely freaking amazing. A little too dark to film, but oh my gosh, everything was delicious. The whole theme of it was just amazing. The food, the setting, the plating, just being out there on the deck, watching Positano Amalfi, the whole thing with the moonlight going across the ocean and the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish it was uh, a little bit brighter so we could have gotten some footage for you guys, but we might be able to throw some photos or something on. Yeah, because it was, it was a dark one, yeah, but. But that's pretty much gonna end segment two of this whole long, time here in Italy. If you haven't already, watch part one where we were in Venice and coming up next week is going to be part three, Rome, where we go to our 24th country. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.